next time kuna wajana tumejengea nyumba tatu ukienda ku launch hapa wewe tuna arrange kindly kindly go with me thank you so much for coming goodbye my people so guys uh, those are my visitors hello hello my beautiful people steve j1 here so i'm starting this video uh, from my home this is kenya east africa uh, guys it's a beautiful day here it's calm today but there is no uh, so much sun there is no much sun but wow i've realized that i have so much sunburn here you see here i'm touching my neck and it's like i've been cut so i'm wondering this sun is this <laughs> the same sun that i've really grown here with all those years but it is what it is guys uh good morning good morning uh here it's good morning it's around 8 am here so guys uh yesterday uh, before I, I continue and say what i wanted to do uh i want to respond to one of the biggest questions that one of my subscribers uh told me uh, they asked me steve how did you manage to build your home so uh i want to respond to this thing without ambiguity you know sometimes we say oh this thing is easy uh so i want to start this video from this point as i progress to other things but uh, before that uh, i want to say thank you so much to my brother vincent you saw you guys saw vincent yesterday he came to visit me in my home uh he's from uh reno 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 in uh which state nevada nevada in the u.s so he came yesterday to visit me we went to his home uh then uh we parted ways everybody went on their ways it was a good experience you know uh he also appeared in my camera but although he was very shy so my brother thank you so much and uh i want to say i want to acknowledge uh, your contribution your contribution to me this is my smallest wallet you know i carry a very small wallet because i rarely use cash me you'll rarely find me with cash the only cash i carry is like let's say 1000 for emergency but now i have something here guys let me show you allow me to show you here uh i'm not trying to show off but let me let me acknowledge and say thank you so this to my brother vincent so he gave me this you know all my life uh since 20 what this is 150 usd you know thank you so much my brother so in fact in fact i was supposed to go and change the money i was supposed to go and change the money in nairobi from a bureau then i realized that i don't have money in fact <laughs> guys you don't know how god works you don't know how god works because uh yesterday yesterday uh the budget that i had i had a budget for two days for my masons uh, don't worry so much my camera is shaking so let me cut it and then i rip. yes so uh what i'm saying is uh yesterday yesterday uh i had i think six six or seven masons and uh the assistants they were around how many eight nine so these guys uh i usually pay my masons around a thousand two hundred shillings one thousand two hundred shillings per day then I paid them uh, the the assistants 500. Now yesterday they call Karanja. Then they tell Karanja because uh, they are doing um, you know we're putting three slabs for my carport, my living area and uh, the rear porch. And they are quite big. So these guys they tell Karanja the person who's paid 500 they said they want 1500. The masons they moved from uh, 1200 to almost 2000 that was very crazy in fact uh, i've never seen that so i asked karanja uh, why did they change so they say that uh, it was because they were doing that thing the slab thing and uh, there were no machines so they uh, yes you saw that but now it was very hefty it was very hefty i had to yes we compromised we came to an agreement wow but it really hit me hard in fact, I, I because I had budgeted my job to end tomorrow on Sunday, Kenyan time. But now, they really squeezed my budget so much. They ate the money for today. But then, God knew that I had a budget till tomorrow. So, 
when Vincent came, Vincent uh, just come to see me and see what I'm doing, uh, see my place. We just talk because we have been talking since day one. And uh, there is no a single day I've ever told him to send me anything or ask him anything. So yesterday when he came, he tells me, Steve, I want to support you with just a few bags of cement. So when you convert that money into Kenyan money, that's close to 25,000. 25,000 will cater for my today's, in fact, my today's bill and my tomorrow's bill. Because these guys really hit me hard. In fact, uh, they really squeezed my pockets. I could have stopped the project as per today. But that's how God comes, you know. So this is a testimony. Uh, this is not begging. This is somebody who gave. So I was supposed to go to change uh, from the bureau because the rates are very high. But I have to go to the bank. Because I have to pay them today and I have to pay them tomorrow. And today is Saturday, so I have to rush to the bank. Uh, it's like 40 kilometers from here, 30, 40 kilometers from my home. I go change, then I come back and pay them uh, at the end of the day. So thank you so much, my brother Vincent. And uh, uh, I'm trying to push as much as possible so that these guys finish the work here. They come to your site. You, uh, they do as we agreed. So uh, I want to address... This issue that my subscriber asked, so they sent me a message. They asked me, Steve, how did you manage to build your home? So this message, this message goes to each and every person, each and every person who wants to build their home. There are so many things that people will never tell you about construction. This one, take it from me. There are so many hidden costs in construction, hidden costs. And that is one of the most expensive parts of construction. You can buy this stone. You see this stone? One of it, uh, size 9, here, will be close to 90 shillings, Kenyan money. The size 6 will be around 70 at my area. But now, buying the stone is not the problem. Let's come to the hidden cost. Uh, I want to give an example. You, have, you guys, you have always seen me complain about water. You know, people think that... Uh, People think that construction is easy. It is not. It is not as easy as we say. Because per day, the masons, they are working there right now. They are mixing cement. They are using the water. If you go there, you'll find like five people are fetching water. In a day, they are fetching close to 200 jerrycans. Each jerrycan is 20 shillings. That is 4,000 per day. You know, pouring water every day, they have to cure this house. You see, it looks black on top. It's because water has been poured already. So they pour like four drums around the house. This thing uh, that we did yesterday, let me show you. This lab, if you look at it, it already has water. Look at this. It already has water. You see? It already has water. So, you see, look at how they are throwing the water there. Look. Now, that's how they throw the water. They don't care whether you, you bought it or not. That is a hidden cost. So in a day, in my construction here, I spent, let's say a minimum, a minimum of 2,000 Kenyan shillings on buying the water, to minimum. But now that we are doing the curing, if you see this water, is this wall, it's like it's washed. I remember they're just washing off because down here we constructed earlier. So up here, it's what they are curing. The cost of water, let's give it around 3,000 per day. If you build like 10 days, how much money is that? That is 30,000. 30,000 for the water. Nobody will ever tell you about that. So water is one of the most expensive things. Me, I don't have a tank. So what I do, uh, I have drums. The normal drums. Uh, so the 200 liters. So these drums, I have like five. Maybe two for our home. I borrow from my neighbors. We put them there. People fetch water and put it inside. So when you are going to construct, you have to know that each and every single day, you love water. Uh, even when you have your own stream, like Marwa, for the water to move from the stream to your home, somebody will have to, to be involved or a machine will have to be involved. That fuel you are using is a hidden cost by itself. Number two, I just be brief. Uh, number two, there's something like the added costs. Added costs, like the cost of the masons. That's why you are hearing, yesterday they were changing from 
1,200 to 2,000. That's a very hidden cost. And these people, you have to compromise and work with them, you know. And most of the time, they complain and hike the prices after they have mixed the cement. So you have to come to a compromise. That is an added cost that nobody will ever tell you. Another thing, you need to know where the materials are got. These days, we have so many fake people selling construction materials online. They'll con you. If you don't know, they will con you and take your money. Like me, I lost a lot of money in 2019 because I never knew. So uh, they'll tell you, we are going to bring you timber. You'll see timber. They tell you, we are the ones measuring the tapes. So you want 4,000 feet, they'll sell you 400 feet. And you'll never realize until you are at your site and they have gone. So you need to know where to source the materials. Have a very trusted person that you work closely with. Like me, I trust Karanja very much. Because uh, he's very thoughtful. He's very open-minded. And everything that we do, we do slowly. He tells me no speed. There is no need of speed. If it is 10 bags of cement, count again. Let's count them. What is the hurry for? Why, where are you running to? So that is one. Number four, you have to know that you are the bearer of your vision. Do not leave your construction to the hands of other people. Be involved since day one. When they are measuring down there, be involved. Let them interpret the map for you. You know, most of the clients do not know. You trust your engineer, you trust your foreman, you trust your fundi, you trust your mason. They tell you, we are going to interpret this map. They don't know how to interpret the map. So they give you wrong measurements, wrong designs, and your house starts to crumble when it is at the top there. Or you find that your house is not what you wanted or you anticipated. Do not trust even your family member. And they tell you that they know what they are doing. No, these people don't know nothing. You are the bearer of the dream. Get time. Like me. That's why you see me. Apart from doing the videos. This construction cannot go on when I'm not here. I can never allow it. I can never allow it. Because they build a wall. The, the next day it is shaking. The other time it's uh, falling off. They, they are built the wrong design. I want the window this way. So they want. No. They say this is too big. So if I want it big. That is my problem. I'm the owner of the home. So you need to be, to be very involved in your construction. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you have to understand that, like, for me, the other day, uh, price of construction will always go up in a week or a month's time. The cost of materials will always keep increasing. For example, take for example, uh, in my case, I was buying the BRC. BRC is the thing that looks like metal that we put on the floor. Then we put cement on top. This thing I was buying at 3000 three months ago. Right now, right now, at my place, it is 7500 It has doubled and they have added another cost on top. In Nairobi, they are selling close to 4000 In Nairobi, it was like 2000 Now it is close to 4000 the BRC. In my place, it's 7500 So these prices will keep doubling. So if you have the money today, buy and store. The cost of metal, like in my country, Kenya, it is hiking every day. So buy and store if you have a secure place that you can store all these things. So you have to understand that the cost of construction will always go up day in, day out. That is something that you need to be very prepared. And uh, most of the time you'll find that, uh, let's say you have, uh, you have like, uh, you are doing a slab, you know, you are doing a slab. So, your mason will tell you, like, uh, we need, like, 40 bags of cement. In these 40 bags, they start the work in the morning by 8. And by 2, they tell you we need extra 10. Extra 10 bags. Remember, these bags you have to pay. You have to buy. So, these are hidden costs that nobody will ever tell you. So, what is my advice before I go and uh, I rush to get to change the money? Then we come back and continue with our videos during the day. This is my advice. Since this cost will be there, always work with a very genuine budget for yourself. For example, this is what I do. This is what I do uh, myself. I usually sit down. Uh, I tell my foreman, this is the amount of money I have. Like 
for like five days. You know, I put in consideration, let's say I have five masons and each I pay 1,000. So that one will be 5,000 and I have like five people assisting them or six, that is 3,000. So that comes to 8,000 plus the money for the foreman, let's say 10,000. So I know in a day I have 10,000 for the labor. But now I have extra, extra cost of water, like let's say per day 3,000. So that is 13,000 and an excess of 1,000. For anything that will be lacking. So in a budget in a day a budget like fourteen to fifteen thousand. Let's say fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand if I have like uh I wanted this work to go for like and you know uh for things like water. If you build two courses today and you pay two thousand, tomorrow you build other two courses, the water will go up from two thousand to two thousand five hundred. The more you grow your house, the more the water goes up, the cost of water. If you are buying you the water. So that's how it goes. Uh, the other things like timber. Like in my case, you see that the masons, for them to build this house up here, they build ladders using the stones. They step on them. But uh, in, a, in a case, when we were building the foundation, my foundation is very deep. When we were building the foundation, I had to buy a lot of timber. A lot of timber and poles like these ones, you know, poles like this. To support the masons to build the ladder for them to be able to construct up here that is from deep there so that is a hidden cost that nobody will tell you so in my case i budget if i budget fifteen thousand per day and i have one hundred and fifty thousand so i say this is the cost of labor for 10 days now after that i take my money now i say in these days do i have cement at home Yes, per day, we use how many bags? Let's say we use like 10 bags per day. So 10 bags times 10, that is like 100 bags. So I need like 100 bags laying around. Or I have the budget, the money with me. Then uh, number two, uh, I need to consider things like uh, maybe food. Maybe I'll be eating, I'll be moving from a place to a place, a place to sleep for me. So these are things that nobody will ever tell you. You come home, you have nowhere to sleep. So you need a place like me to sleep. You pay every day like 500 or 1,000. So if you stay here for 10 days, that is 10,000. You eat like 500 a day, that is 5,000. So these are hidden costs that you need to understand before you go to construct your home. <clears throat> then do not have the pressure. You know, so many people, these days we are working under pressure. Let me tell you. So many of us, we are working under the pressure of, oh, uh, Steve is building when he's young, 30 years. Uh, I am 45, I've never built. No, do not let this pressure kill you or push you to go get a loan that you cannot pay, steal money or start hating yourself. No, most of the people, <coughs> you'll see them uh, building, you don't even know where they get the money from. They'll tell you it is God because that's what people say. But you don't know the deals that they use to get the money. So work with your pace. And you don't have to use like blocks like me you know me i was in the construction industry so i was selling these blocks and my blocks are very old if you look at them even some of them have mold because they have been laying here around here for like four years four years in fact since since when <clears throat> since 2017 2018 these blocks have been laying around for five years <clears throat> so do not have the pressure budget and go with your budget so guys, let's go to the bank. We have mangoes here. I think today I love to get one from me. I hope my neighbor will not shoot me. But uh, they are falling on my place. So what happens is my masons are eating a lot of these mangoes every day. Especially the ones that were here. So I've told them not to eat. Uh, they just go and buy from the market because so many people are selling the mangoes. So guys, let's go to to water town so this is our farm and thank you for always watching my videos and supporting me so guys it is the start of the day let's go and see how things roll so do not have the pressure to build take your time let things roll right now i'm back i'm back from the the bank i'm coming from the bank so we have my guys here i can see they are taking their tea the 10 a.m. tea, it's around 11, 10, 11 a.m. I'm so sleepy. Yesterday I woke up very early, 3 a.m.
I lost my sleep. Let's see how things go. Let's see what they have done so far. No, uh, because I've come from the bank, uh, the progress here is going on so well, guys. Just look at the beauty of this home. So tomorrow, uh, these guys are finishing up the walling. We are finishing up all the walls. You see this small part here that is remaining? We are pushing it up. Tomorrow, we are working on the pillars. So, guys, uh, you know, as I told you, in this construction, there are so many hidden costs. Like now, uh, my guy tells me that we need uh, a minimum of 500 feet of timber. 500 feet. And uh, honestly, honestly, I would lie if I say that I have that money. So what I've done, I'm trying to call some people here and there. If you go to my slab, I'll show you what I did. Uh, I did not have timber, so I, I had very few cutoffs. You know, cutoffs are the things that, uh, before you get the timber, if this is a tree, if you cut this tree, so they cut this thing off the barks. So that's what I used, uh, I improvised, and uh, I used for the slab in the initial house. I also used the same to do the slabbing for the carport, the living room. The living room, we never used any timber. We just used the floor itself. Then uh, behind there. So I'm going to show you the cutoffs that uh, we used. In fact, I can see that they are removing them. I don't know whether they're they taking them. So, uh, so my guy tells me, Mr. Karanja, he tells me that... Uh, we need at least 500 feet, you know, and that is very expensive because I think one foot I've called, they sell at 42 shillings, one foot. So if you take 42 by 500, that's over 20,000. So uh, since that was not in the budget, guys, construction is not easy. You know, people think construction is just ABC. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to call a few guys that have had construction or those they have been having construction so i'll either borrow the timber from them or uh i hire i hire the the timber that they have it's so hot so hot i have to remove this cap so i want to either borrow i either borrow the timber that they have or they lent you know letting so is it letting or lending so they give me, then I pay a portion of money. So here, the cost will be either the borrowing, but either way, we have to finish this thing tomorrow. So I don't know. Uh, I'll be working up things because the guys that have already called, two have said that they don't have already. So one is, see, their, their phone is off. So I'm trying to see. I'm crossing my fingers because uh, the one that is off uh, should be having timber. So if he gives me the timber, I'll be very happy. Now, if he doesn't, I don't know what I'll do. So right now, we are pushing. So to first of all, say thank you, thank you a million times. You know, uh, guys, I say God works in, a, uh, in very miraculous ways. God works in miraculous ways. For those who say that uh, I should not be talking about God in my channel, allow me to talk. Because uh, I, I, in the start of this video, I showed you like, Hundred and fifty dollars that uh, that I was given by by my brother Vincent. So I went to the bank. In fact, in the morning, let me show you what they did. So this dollar, let me hold it. This dollar, they changed the hundred. The fifty, they said, it is written somewhere here. You see, it's written. You see here. So my bank said, this this fifty is written. So they can't change for me. You know, it's the local bank in my area. So now they gave me 16,000. Oh, the change rate is very down, you know. It's very down, but I had no otherwise. So I took for the 100, I took the 16,000. So that one, I'm going to pay the masons. Today I have very many masons because I wanted to finish the work. But now God is good. Uh, I know my mom from the US, Madame Damaris, I know you wanted to remain anonymous, but please allow me to say thank you so much. To you and your family, may God bless you a million folds. To Vincent, may God bless you. To Robert and Kate, thank you so much. Uh, you guys, you have helped me without me asking for any help. Honestly, you have really. This project is part of you. Anytime you'll be around and you feel like you can visit Steve, after I finish this project, we are coming home with my family. Anytime you want to visit here, please feel free to come. You are part of this 
family my mom uh, also kate kate mozilla <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I don't know the thing with Kate. You know, my wife is also called Catherine Kate. So I don't know this thing with Kate. <laughs> so, Madam Damaris, Vincent, for today, thank you so much. You have made this uh, project uh, possible. Uh, at least, at least, now I have uh, partially the money to get the timber, partially, then uh, to pay... The money for Vincent, uh, I budgeted like 25,000. I paid the Masons today and tomorrow. But now, I love to pay today. So tomorrow, I love to know the way forward. But I know, God will come in a big way again. God will come in a handy way. So guys, I want to show you a tour of what we have been able to do. Remember yesterday, uh, I showed you after we did the slabbing in the evening. So let me take you around. You see what is happening. The situation at, uh, at hand right now. But guys, I'm so grateful. This is a story of uh, from uh, from grass to grace. You know, when I was growing up, honestly, for me, when I was growing up, we used to sleep down here on the floor. We used to sleep down. Uh, if if people wanted to point at a poor family, they pointed at us. If people had any reason to laugh at people, they laughed at us. So when I'm doing something like this, uh, this home I'm building for me, my wife, this home I'm building for even the whole community. Because I don't know who will be here tomorrow. So uh, this is the beauty of the home. Now look at how it is. Look at that. That's a carport. The car will be passing here and going. See? We already have a car. This is God manifesting. <laughs> my contractor has a car. Just imagine. The young boy from the village has a contractor who has a car. <laughs> so people will think that I have a lot of money. But uh, it's God's doing. So me, you have to manifest what you want, you know. You have to manifest. So these are my mason's clothes. They hang them here, you know. The, the, the clothes have to chill with the trees here. They get the cool breeze. So uh, this is the beauty of the place right now, today. The walls now, we uh, I've told Karanja to work on the calculations for the lentil. So we're working on the metals, but I'm estimating 150 to 200,000 for the metal, minimum. This lentil is, <laughs> everyone, it's not a joke because this house is big, honestly. This house is big and I don't want to compromise. So I have to put, uh, we are going to use, uh, in Kenya we use uh, the metal bus. There are different types. But I'm going to use the D10s for the runnings and the D8s for the rings. D8s for the rings. So I'm, I'm estimating because one D10 in my area is 110 shillings as of now. So 110. Uh, sorry, 1,000 and 100. 1,100 for one metal. So for the D10s here, I think like one, two, three. Three by four. Let's say 12 here. Uh, 12, 12, and 12. Those are how many? Let's say 50. 50. Then, uh, like, here, like, 4, 4, 4, 4. Yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 6 times 2, 12. 12 times 2, 24. Those are like, let's say 80. 80 details and like 50. Uh, th those are my estimates. Then uh, 80 plus 4 huh? plus 2 plus, uh, let's say, an estimate of 100. So that is 100,000. Then the D8s, let's say, around 50. Each one is going for 100, 800 shillings. So we have an estimate of 200,000 and we have to bring that home. There is no compromise. It has to come home. It has to be worked on. So guys, let's go there uh, and see how things go. That's my rough estimate. We, I'm going to show you, I think the calculation by the end of the day, what Karanja has got. I think that's the range that we shall be having. So let me show you what we already have. So from here, this is our front part of the house. I, I know you have been seeing this already. So don't get tired. So we have this. Now, uh, this thing, this slab has to be watered like forever. 
water has to stay running. Somebody was stepping here. Yeah? I don't know why they were stepping there. So we have this lab. This lab uh, is for the carport. Then now that is inside the house. Just look how beautiful this thing looks. I told you that. Uh, yes. Dirisha. Oh, Nakuja. I'm coming. So we have this. This is the carport. And then that's the living room. So we have already done the slab. Thank you so much. Now we are going to work on the pillars. So you see like that metal. So these ones have to go to that height. So, but behind there, at the rear porch, we already have uh, everything uh, done. We were co uh, constructing the wall. I have to pass through the windows here. We were constructing the, the wall for the kitchen. So this wall, uh, forgive me. So we was, the imagine a This one. So this wall separates now our kitchen. Look how our kitchen is big. So we have this this section here. This is uh, the dining. It's big, and uh, this kitchen now has become bigger. So uh, make a mukwa. pimiwe. So mnataka dirisha api. Oh, dirisha apa. Okay. Uh, pima. Uh -huh. Ume, ngapi? No, that's very small. Here, dogo. Here, dogo. Uh, expand the window to here. Wake up. Uh, ebuni pe tape. Give me the tape. Uh, mushikie, mushikie. Shika pale kwanza tupime. So, we want to cut the window for the kitchen. Staki window, dogo. Where is the center? Uh, kutoka pale adi pale ni? How many? Hapa. Two point this. I rodisha. Vuta. Vuta. Vuta nani? Vuta two. Vuta two. Vuta tena. I want to see. Ah, ah. See hapa sana. Hapa. Here. Here. So you takua. This is 210. So four, 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 420. Where is 420? Yes. Yoni, itakuwa? Let me see. Here. Let that be the window here. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up. Going up. So, I wanted a very big window. Dirisha lazima iwe kubwa. So, we are finishing up. That's the last course. See? The mason way is working. That's the last course finishing up so we're also working on the kitchen ah yeah hapo kweko muko hapo hiyo nini before ujenge sawa mwaleka kwa kwa minda so guys uh, this is what we are having this is already the partition between the kitchen so this wall this wall is not going uh, beyond an extra cost so we are adding one cost the reason that we have not added is because uh it's still wet, you know, it has been constructed now. So we have a maximum of four courses for now. So we give it like five hours to dry, then we add one course, then we cut the window. So this house will be complete today, all this house. So now, like this side, you know, look at this. Only two courses remaining here by this time of the day at 11 a.m. or noon. So this one is also coming up very well. That one is already done. So it's morning here, but this one is already done. Panda mina bihora stigo. Okay. So look at that. So now this is the face of the house. This is our toilet. The windows have to be big. Always. If if you want your house to be beautiful, make sure the windows are big. So this one is a strip window, as I've told you. This window does not open. We're just going to erect it, put glass, and that's all. So, but this one, this is a window that will be opening. So this bedroom is already done and dusted. So I was consulting the size nine. That's why you'll find this funny pattern here. But this one, we are going to make it a very beautiful pattern. In fact, the people uh, who will get uh, rooms with this one, uh, they'll get a very beautiful one because it has a very nice pattern. So this bedroom is done. Only two courses to go. Two courses to go here on this wall. So this is how we bring water. That's a donkey carrying five, you know. Jija go out the Oh, how does it look? Okay. Aye, he's in Bingembao. Where? 
Can you wear 15? Where? Can you wear the same Gilamond? So, uh, you know, she wants more money, but uh, we cannot pay excess for this one. Today, I have to reduce to 15 shillings because uh, I'm running out of cash. So, she has to comply. So, we have this. So, Wabina, where? Oh, that's my sister, by the way. This is my elder sister. So, you know, they are very supportive. They support me. So, they have to make sure the work is running. So guys, this is the face of the house. Our home is done. Look at how clean it is. Sweeping here. Kazoka? We're going to get on again. We're going to get on again. So this is the state of what we are doing right now. So they're working on that toilet, that wall. So we're sweeping here. We have to collect this, you know. Uh, these dust offs. Jen, na kwa nini ziyeka uko? Hizo mnatumia nini? So we got this. So we keep. That's the window of the dining hall. They are sweeping that. So this one, this is cement that we are mixing. So we have another heap. So today we have to make sure everything is done. Then we go to the pillars there. Next year, I'm going to go away. Can I go out with it? This is what we are doing right now. As you see, this house is coming to completion that side. So we only have this small section here. You see? So we are completing the house officially today. God is so good. I'm so happy. So uh, this is a slab that we put. So we dug here. So we had to put like two inches around. So uh, these are the off cuts that I was talking about. So this is how we improvised. So we have to improvise. You cannot buy the timber all the time. Timber is very expensive. So in order to ensure that this place is uh is well slabbed, so we use these ones. You see, like this one? This one has been removed. These are north cuts. You see? Oh, this is timber. This is limp timber. Oh sorry. So guys, from this side, now this is the sunset side of the house. So this is my mom's house. So we are getting the stones from there. And we can officially say that the walling is officially done on this side of the house. So these are the two bedrooms and the common toilet. So don't mind about the space there. That's where we're going to put the pillar uh, from tomorrow. So we have this. The walls are coming out smart. And we're going to excavate all this place for landscaping. We're going to plaster this. This thing that you see here. The, then we are going to do cladding, you know, cladding. So we have a, our mode of transport here, the donkey. This is a donkey. So this one, it has something. A kiondo, a basket on its mouth to prevent it from eating people's maize. So this is the, the rear side of the house. So guys are really pushing this house. They are completing. So we're supposed to complete the wall work today, officially. That one is fully done. This one is fully done. So we are coming here. This is where we are coming. So now you see. So we are we are remaining with. Uh, so that is the last course. He's putting up there. Then this side. Then from there we come to this section. So the only places remaining, not done, is uh, the TV room. The the wall be dividing the TV room, and the dining, and the kitchen. So only that, that one we are building half. So this is it. This is what we did yesterday. The slab it came out very nice, very beautiful. So that one is also getting completed. The pantry there or the store. So this, this is the store, you see? This is our store. All of it stretching all the way to my office there. And it's very big. It's quite big. So guys, I'm very tired. In fact, uh, it has been a day of supervising this. This side of the house is fully done, except for that wall. Very small wall there that is going to support uh, whatever. The, the, the one joining uh, my office to the pillar. So the rest of the house is done. In fact, let me go in. 
we have to pass through the window because we have slabbed. So we have this. So only two stones remaining for that one. This one is fully done. So we have a wall here that is yet to be constructed. That's why we have these holes. So right here, a stone is going to go through. That's why they are leaving this and this. That's how you leave it to allow for the stones, <coughs> these ones that are being constructed. So they are constructing here. So let's say 90% of the work is fully done. Fully done. So we are holding together. We are holding together. So this is it. The living room. The, the whatever. The slab is drying up. So this one is drying up very well. So that one is also the carport. It's drying up. So you have to pour water every time. So things are coming up very well. Thanks you. Thanks for the support throughout. And this is it. So this is what we have been able to do. So this is not where the face is. The face of this room is here. So stretching all the way. The toilet is also being done. So guys, keep watching the video. I'll show you the final product very soon. So my beautiful people, uh, I have visitors here. Yes. <laughs> I'll start uh, with my brother here. Mawe, one of the biggest YouTubers in my land, Ukambani, doing both uh, local content and international English and Chikamba. Yes. So introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Mutesia Mawe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my YouTube channel is Mutesia Mawe. Yes. I do local content, mm -hmm. Zani Kenyan artists. Yes. And also I do international music, uh, content, mm -hmm. learning the beauty of Kenya. Yes. We have a channel called Learning Kenya. Yeah. yeah and uh, kindly subscribe. Follow me. So guys, uh, I was just chilling here. The Nicole's. And uh, he was with uh, his brother there. Yeah? You can come in, brother. Come in, come in. Come in and say hello. So we are many here. Hello. Yes. We have Brian. We have Brian. We have This is Brian Munyao. Yes. Yes. So these guys are friends, and we have another brother here, yeah, Patrick Kiyoko. Patrick Kiyoko, friend from Mutisa Mawel. Yes. Yeah. So guys, we are here, and uh, I do appreciate you coming. Thank you. I know, uh, you know, you know, people are used us doing a tour, all of us, but we have already done in uh, Mutisa's channel. You can go and check it out, uh, Mutisa Mawel uh, YouTube channel. So I'm with these brothers. So I'll just make it a very short video until I, I see them off. So the rest we are going to catch up. Go check him out. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, what a YouTube channel? Level? Okay, no. So they don't have YouTube channels, but uh, they are good guys. You know, my home is being visited by the rich and the famous. The rich and famous. Benji supporters. Oh yeah, but, but, but he, yeah, he has a very good content. Uh, if you are from my place, Kaboy uh, Kamp, go check him out. He has the best content for the most famous and the most uh, watched people in our in our they call it uh, Kamba, no, Kamba 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 community no, Kamba Kamba yeah so you go check him out and uh, subscribe to his youtube channel so guys keep watching i'll be updating more goodbye <laughs> so <laughs> you yeah, don't need to grow to have, bro. <laughs> so i'm seeing all of my guests so guys you see these are the vehicles coming to our home. <laughs> Very soon we are buying ours. Kama ya soil. Kujeni msalimia contractor wangu. Anaitwa Karanja. Mkiwa na kazi mnampa. Sumeona kazi yake? His job is very good. Karanja. Hawa ni wageni wangu. So, huyu anaitwa Mutesia Baweo. Eh, huyu anaitwa Patrick, huyu anaitwa Munyao. Uh, Sasa huyu ni Karanja is my contractor. He's the one who has been building this house. Yes. So if you have any job, uh, in fact, you can uh, give him. Karanja, you can give him. 07? 36. 07, 36? 6, 10. 6, 10. 3, 25. 3, 2, 5. So, <laughs> so I'm very grateful, my brother. Thank you so much for coming. Morezia. Thank you. We need to go there. Go there. Go there. Now we need to render Mombasa. So guys, uh, thank you so much for coming. Next time, we will be able to get you. Munia Jie. Next time, we will be able to get you a new one. We will be able to get you a new one. Kindly, kindly. Go with me.
Thank you so much okay. for coming. Bye. Goodbye, my people. So, guys, uh, those are my visitors. So, they came to say hello. We were passing. So, it's great. It's great. Uh, the progress is good. So far, so good. So, this is what we are doing so far. In fact, uh, the house is almost complete. As you can see from here. So, we, in fact, we are remaining with only the pillars. Only the pillars. Let me, let me show from here. Only the pillars are remaining. There's a lot of sun. Let me take the camera down. As my visitors are leaving. So that is my driveway. I'm manifesting. God is going to give me a very big vehicle like that. Very soon. You know, there's a lot of power in what you say. People do not believe that. But there's a lot of power in your mouth. So when you come, you'll be parking there. We shall be sleeping here. A good place. So from, uh, in fact, let me go inside the house so that I show you. You know, I've been telling you, uh, this one window here shows you who is coming and who is going. So from here, you see, you're able to see from my bedroom. You're able to see that car going all the way to the road. So when it disappears, that's where we're going to put the gate there so that we see who is coming. So thank you for coming, my people. Let's see the progress here. So this wall here, only two stones are remaining, in fact. Two stones. So we have that. So we have that. The progress is very good. This one. Hi, Meisha. You could Meisha. I mean, back in my moja. My moja. Okay, okay, okay. So we have that. Where we? Motu kwa chako gonga mawe. Mawilo. Mako gonga mavia. So this house is almost complete. This one, this wall is done. This is already done. Uh, only one course is remaining. One stone, all around. That one too. We are waiting for it to dry. So things are going very well. In fact, uh, ninety-nine percent of the work is already done. Now from here, we got this. Look at my view. <laughs> Those hills there. One day, I, I should take you there. Look, those are the views. These are our maize, bananas, trees. Our land stretches down to the river. So we have this. So we are also pouring water at the slab here. So this window, we are going to remove also this soil. And then we are going to plant very beautiful flowers here with time. So let's keep watching. We have guys carrying the stones. These are you have to bring the stone one by one. You have to bring one by one. The house is coming out very well. Thank you. Thank you so much for every support. So we got this. You have to make sure all the cement is cleaned and removed. So the wall is almost done. Karanja, ile pila. Karanja. Pila ya pale ilijengwa iko wapi? Ilikuwa ya wapi? Ye huko. Ilijengwa. Iko wapi? Huko sijaona pila huko. Iko wapi hiyo pila? Pila ya ulijenga ya huko iko wapi? Sijaona pale kwa kwa nini? Mali tumeka chuma. Iko Wapi? Hapo hakuna. Tena hizo rings. Hizo rings nimeona wamemwaga zingine nje. Kwa nini zimemwagwa nje? Hapana. Tunaenda nikuonyeshe. Rings iko pale zimemwagwa kwa nini zimemwagwa nje? Na zimebiwa hapo zingine mingi sana. Hmm? This is the slab. We are almost closing the site. I think these guys are tired now. We are going to complete uh, the few courses maybe tomorrow. So we have watered here. The living room. It's fully done. It's fully done. So in fact, uh, I've realized that I think it's a pillar missing. It's a pillar missing. Let me in fact go and inspect because I've put some metal somewhere and I lost 
so many metals here. I don't know. They were stolen some time back, like uh, a month. Somebody came and picked them. I don't know why they did that. So from here, let's see. Let's see what we have. You know, I bought uh, metals for these pillars. We have erected five. So one was supposed to be here. They are saying they put it here. And we cannot see it. You know? Oh, one is there. So we have one there. So we have these metals. They are yet to be worked on. So these ones, we are going to cut them fully tomorrow. So we have these metals. They are very expensive. They have what the rings. So these rings should go to the house. These ones need to go to the house. This BRC needs to go to the house. And the stones are coming to depletion. But we have so many others. We have many, many other stones. So this is my mom's house. This one I built. I wanted to put electricity here. But these guys have really refused to put electricity. They're asking me for 80,000. 80,000. This one I had put here for light. For the light. Uh, we have another one at this side. So from here, that's the view of my house. Towards my mom's place. So this is another one for the light. So they're asking me for 80,000. 80,000 for what? Just in solar electricity. So me, I said no. So I'd rather wait and buy solar. So guys, thank you for watching. It's the end of the day. Those are my trees. That's my fence. We are going to put a fence there. Going all the way to the road. Beautiful people. Uh, we have come to the closure of the day. Uh, thank you for staying with me. So right now, uh, we have been able to do a lot. A lot, a lot has been done. So this is my village here. Beautiful place. So we have this. This is our villa. It is coming up very well. Very beautiful. And uh, we have really, really done our best i want to take you around but i want to turn the camera because uh, it's getting late so i want to turn the camera and show you what we have been able to do we we could not complete like the top two courses in a few places and the pillars but tomorrow we're going to finish that fully 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 so tomorrow i'll be uploading the final video here then i'll be leaving this place to go back to the city for a few engagements then i come back so let me show you what we've been able to do so far so good uh, as you know, this is like the front part of the house. So when you look from here, when you look from here, let me sh let me uh, bring down the whatever. So we have this. This is a house. This is a side view. So that is my office there. Uh, this is my master bedroom with its small window there and the front side there. This is our carport. <clears throat> so when you come from here, you have the sunset there. Sun is setting. So... This is the state of our villa. You know, we have to cure what has to be poured here regularly. So, this is it. This is our carport. Look at how beautiful it is. So, these pillars, we have agreed that tomorrow we are going to put uh, concrete halfway. You know, halfway because I don't have enough timber, honestly. And timber, uh, the cost of, we wanted like 400 to 500 feet. That goes to close to 20,000. So I've tried as much as possible to get timber even from people, but none has them. So it is what it is. We are going to use uh, the offcuts that we have. We are going to do a slab. Uh, sorry, this pillar, a concrete half here, uh, then half here, half there. So from here, you can see this is our house. This is how our, our, our villa looks like. How beautiful it is. It's coming up very well. So this from this carport, now I can enter, in fact, I can uh, step in. It's no problem. It's now dried. So uh, from here, we have the living room here. This is our living room. So this is the big window. From the living room, you can see outside. So here, we got this. Man labor for construction is hectic. We have a small front. So, you know, we are getting the water from the, the wells. <laughs> My neighbor closed... The other neighbor who was remaining has officially closed his, uh, his uh, well. They have said that they cannot assist me anymore. They don't want people fetching water from their place for my construction. I go and get water from somewhere else. So it is what it is. I've said it's the nature of village. When people see you doing something, they don't want that. Wow. I don't understand people. When you are doing something good, I'm helping the local people. Uh, I can bring a vehicle to stand here. 
give me water. But now I'm helping the local people here. Now the local men and women are saying, no, we can't give Steve water. Let him go look for water from somewhere else. Anyway, guys, let's come to this. So this one is fully done. As you can see, it's fully, fully done. So this is the living room. It's very sunken. You see, you have to go down. So when you go down, you see, the wall becomes very tall. And that is the view. So let's go outside. From here, from my office, in the morning, that pillar, that pillar there, uh, that pillar was very small. Very small, like here. You see, we have uh, we have applied the rough cement, you see? The rough cement here. Because uh, these are just like two stones. So in the morning, this this one was here. In fact, it was here, yes. So we have erected all this. So we have two more stones, see? One, two. Then we are done with this one. This one is fully done, you see? So this one is fully done. So this is the corner point. This is my office. You can see the mangoes there. Uh, then there's another window there. So this one, this wall is also done. Fully, fully done. Fully done. So thank you so much, my people, for always watching my video. You know, when you watch my video, honestly, you support me. I say that you don't need to send me a cement. But when you watch my video, you leave your comment, uh, you subscribe, you have really helped me. So this one, this is the dust that we collect. We are going to use it as cement and as uh, sand. So my master bedroom is done, as you can see. There's no work here going on. It's fully done. Now, the only thing that we are waiting for is the lentil, you know. So now, this wall, carrying the main corridor up to the end there. You know, I have to put my hand here because of the sun. So there. So this wall, we have been able to construct it. Now we have two more stones to go. You know, you cannot construct beyond four. One, two, three, four. For the sake of the safety of the wall, you have to construct a maximum of like four. So we have extra two to go tomorrow. So tomorrow we are having how many masons? Four, five, six. Six masons are coming in tomorrow to finish all this. Now for the kitchen, for the kitchen. Now you see our store, our store is fully done. That one, no more construction there. Here, our kitchen is going to be semi-open, you know. We are going to construct from here up to here. Up to here. Here. Oh, I'm almost falling off. So we are going to construct from there to up around here. So all this space will be open. But we are going to have this wall going up from here. You know, from here. It will go up. Then we shall be have a semi-open kitchen. Where you can close the window or open it to engage the people here. So this wall is going up. We have two more stones to go. This one also has two more stones. So this is the window of my kitchen. Now, you know, I've never shown you the face of my kitchen. Now look at this. Now, you are here, you are cooking, or you are washing your dishes from here. You have all this window to yourself. Look at this. One, two, three, four, almost five stones. These are very big. Oh, guys, I'm almost falling off every time. So you are almost... You, from here, from the kitchen, you have all this window to yourself. All this window. You have that door. Then you shall have a semi-open here. A semi-open open kitchen. So this wall, we are going to erect it tomorrow. Six, six, then that one, six. Then when we come here, we are going to erect this wall up to the top. This one up to the top. You know, the beams will be running all the way and joining the carport behind there. Then... Uh, here, this is the door to the kitchen. Here, I'm going to put a small glass door. So, uh, it will be open, but now we, we need that door for security purposes anyway, for children. So, then we have this. This wall, we have constructed two. So, we're going to construct four tomorrow to join the rest there. So, that one is done. Oh, um, uh, no, that one has one stone to go. One stone to go. That one has not been constructed, so that one will erase because it's already done a bit. This house needs only one course here. Oh, it's becoming dark. So we need one course here and one course. The rest of the house is fully done. The rest of the house is fully done. The study room is complete. Uh, the common bathroom is complete. And space here is not a joke. We have space. We're not joking with space. The windows are big, massive, clean work. We are working and cleaning. We are working and cleaning. We're not leaving anything to chance. 
So we have this. This is the window, the view of the hills there. So, you know, then uh, this house is fully done, very done. This one is also done, this wall. I thank God for this. I never envisioned this. You know, uh, somebody maybe somewhere is wondering, oh, this guy constructing this house, fully doing everything. That's why they now they are now denying me what they don't want me to get water from the their places. So this this bedroom is fully done, the walls. Now we are remaining with just the slab. So this is this view of our home. Uh so just like one or two stones everywhere, one, two, three stones, one, two, three stones. So this thing will be done tomorrow. All these slabs, all those uh, poles will be done tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So guys, let's see. So everything is flowing well. I thank God for this. I thank each and every person. Thank you, Madam Damaris from the US, you and your family. May blessings follow you always. My brother Vincent, you know, uh, your support has really, really come in handy. And guys, before I forget, go check my mom from the UK, Madam Lucy B. Thank you for always supporting me. Uh, thank you for your support. In fact, I'll put uh, her channel here. This is my rear porch. You know, it's a bit dirty here. We called something. So this is the look of the house from the rear side. This, that side is done. This one needs just a bit of work. And here we are getting done here. So this one is just racing. So where I'm standing, we shall be having a pool table here. We're going to have uh, another outside toilet there. Uh, this wall, you know, here. I'm going to construct uh, a wall here. You know, a toilet here that has a, a shower and everything. So you are in here, you want to shower, you want to do anything, you can come outside here and do your thing. So uh, I want to thank you so much, each and every person, for watching my videos. Please like, share, comment. And if this is the first time you are coming across my YouTube channel, kindly uh, consider subscribing, consider supporting me, and let's push push each other ahead. You know, when you see me successful, uh, maybe my story will inspire somebody else. Uh, me, I'm trying to do this not only to inspire other people but this is something that i really i really ask god you know every time if you go around my village here you'll find even even the small boys they have houses even the small boys at my age at 30 yes without a house you know here in africa it's a big deal in most of the countries so me i never used to even have a room you know uh because i did not have anyone to build for me I always wondered, it's not that I never wanted uh, to own a home or a house, but I had nobody to support me to build it. So when now I saw God, uh, God brought me this vision, like building this home, I said, no matter what, I'll never build a small house. I'll build this one. No matter the struggle, I don't care the struggle that I'll have to go through, but I'll build like this. So this is the hand of God. In fact, I'm so grateful. So guys, uh, let me join the rest. I'm having a bad stomach. I'm having a stomach ache. I think, I don't know whether I ate something. In the morning, I ate some uh, mandazis. Mandazi. So, you are cold. So I think we had a problem. So, from here, this house looks so beautiful. I wish you guys can be here. Come visiting like my brother, Mutisia Maweo. Go check him out. His YouTube channel is one of the best content creators in my place. Go check him out. So, you see now. This is the view of the house from here. Things are flowing so well. So thank you and see you tomorrow. Uh, let's catch up tomorrow. It's on a Sunday. We shall be working. They have said they want to complete because they have another project. So let's see each other and goodbye.